Good morning, guys. We have the most exciting thing I think I've ever filmed happening today. Firstly, I'm in Canada. Me and Raya arrived here yesterday, I think, and we are joined by Johnny, Caleb, and Donna. Caleb is a paleontologist. We are in the Dinosaur Provincial Park in, in Alberta, and Travel Alberta has organized this totally exclusive thing for us to do today. This isn't something like anyone can do, but we are joining a dinosaur bone excavation. I don't know what you call it, but we're gonna go and see some centrosaurs, is that correct? Yep. And we're gonna get a chance to dig them up. This is like pretty like covert. We're not supposed to be like telling anyone exactly where we are. And um, we needed to check. Weren't, weren't you saying, Johnny, that you needed to check that we weren't getting followed today? It's very exclusive, so we yeah. need to make sure that uh, we're not being followed, yeah. <laughs> so, it's quite exciting. The only anyway. people following is our other paleontologists. Yeah, so we've got a group of paleontologists, <laughs> and yeah, I'm. this is like a childhood dream come true. I'm literally like bursting with excitement inside. We've arrived at where we're parking, and the team are just spraying under the vehicles to make sure we don't uh, start any fires with the grasslands out here. There are sinkholes. When we get to the bottom where it starts to get grassy, there are actually deep holes that you can fall into and be mm. injured quite far down. Mm -hmm. You could be injured by tools. Uh, heat's going to be an issue today. It's supposed to be pretty hot. Sun is an issue, back strain. There's a chance that we'll see rattlesnakes. There's two places on the path that mm. I've seen rattlesnakes on a fairly regular basis. So I've brought my cowboy hat mainly because I feel like Indiana Jones, even though he was an archaeologist, not a paleontologist, um, I think it's also helpful because it's going to be a very hot, sunny day today and apparently there's no cover or shade when we get there. Um, we're pretty prepared. I've got water, I've got my cameras, I've got some supplies in my bag. Um, yeah, let's do this. We've just been told that the time span from the riverbed up to this plateau that we're standing on now spans uh, 1.5 million years of of kind of rock um, formation and there's dinosaurs throughout that. the final slope we need to get up. Do you want to go up first, Raya, and then I can like catch you if you fall? <laughs> yeah, maybe. As we walk towards the site, you're just going to see dinosaur bone all over the place. This right here is dinosaur bone coming out. That's dinosaur bone. We're not worried about these chunks. These are already eroded. They're in bad shape. But mm -hmm. as we go this way, we'll have dug into the hill and we'll see fresh bone coming out. And the fresh bone is nice and all complete and doesn't not full of cracks and stuff. Oh. What's the deal with it being fossilized? So is it essentially turned into rock? Yes, what's happened is a process called permineralization. So the rock is buried in the ground and there's groundwater in that rock. And that groundwater permeates the bone. It slowly replaces the organic parts of the bone with minerals. This is the Centrosaurus. This is what the bones belong to. Wow. So have you found a complete skull? Uh, we don't find complete skulls here. We find all of the skull bones separated. Okay. This is so exciting. So this bone here tells us exactly which species is buried in this bone bed. And this is another example of it as well. There's another shield. Most of the tools that we use in the excavation process are actually pretty simple. Um, the, in this particular site, the most common tool you'll see is actually just a, a paring knife. Um, it's very useful for uh, cleaning off the mudstone from the surface of the bone. You also see lots of brushes, because as we're making, as we're removing rock, we want to brush off to clean off the surface, get the bones nice and clean. And as we're going, we're constantly adding glue to the surface of the bones to consolidate it and, and stabilize the bone. And you'll see us using some glue in a few minutes here. All right, here's a close up of one of the bones. I'm just learning how to distinguish between rock and bone. This is a, this is a more interesting way to test. 
If I lick the rock, it, the bone, then I can tell because it's... What, are you saying it's going to stick to my tongue? Yeah, it's just more the porosity like, is going to cause a like, chemical reaction. So don't, don't rub it, just, just uh, yeah. stick it, pull off. Yeah, like that. Sticking it all? Not really, I'm just Not tasting working. mud. Right. <laughs> Me and Raya are going to have a go now. We're just digging away the rocks and dirt first before we start like doing the more careful stuff with the bones. Um, what shall I use? Pickaxe? Uh, yeah, no, maybe we'll give you a oh, smaller no. tool. <laughs> we'll go with one of okay. these and uh, a paintbrush. Yeah. And I'll take this out of your swinging range. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, am I just like hacking away at this? What like? you're going to do is you're going to use the point of the knife and yep. you're going to stick it in about a centimeter and then you're uh -huh. going to give it a little flick or a little twist and it's just going to crumble like that. Mm. Okay, cool. This is the one of the most important bones that we found in the site so mm. far, um, and it's going to keep going into the hill there. Mm. So the rock that you're moving here will eventually reveal the rest of the rest wow. of the island up there. I could do this all day, every day. Like this is so cool. Oh my god. This is totally the kind of stuff you love. Yeah. Like building, pu like making yeah, puzzles. Yeah, this is like the ultimate puzzle, basically. <laughs> this is an advanced GPS mapping system that's accurate to two centimeters. What would be like the most excited you'd get? Like that would make you be like, yeah, like kind of proper like. <laughs> if, we, <laughs> if we found something that we knew was new, like a new species or a new okay. type. Um, and you'd be able to tell that on site sometimes. You'd be, see a bone structure and be like, we've never, I've never seen anything sometimes like Sometimes you could tell on site, sometimes you wouldn't be able to tell until you back to the lab. Have you ever been part of a group that's discovered a new species? Yep, yep. Discovered several, several new species. Wow. Um, so what I'm gonna get you to do is brush off that bone and then we'll put some glue on it. Okay. Time for lunch. I am pretty hungry. We have uh, definitely worked up an appetite. This is a very slow kind of therapeutic kind of exercise. It's not, I don't know if it's exactly for me. I, I feel like I could get a bit of Im impatient because I'm like, I just want to see the bone. But I think Raya, this is definitely Raya's oh, vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the dig. Um, I'm going to try and uncover more of this bone. Apparently this could be one of the horns. So I'm going to try and dig back some of this rock and reveal it. In order to get to these bones, I have to dig out this shelf here so there's like more access and then I can start brushing away the, the dirt and stuff. But we need to, yeah, cut back to like here. We're going to GPS track it now and then hopefully... Um, Give it what do you call it? Pla put plaster on it and yeah, then... We'll make a, a plaster field jacket. Ah, plaster field jacket to be able to remove it and then hopefully they'll take it back to the lab and I don't know what happens next. <laughs> um, so what we're going to be doing here is that the, the metatarsal, the foot bone that was found right here, we're going to be making what's called a plaster jacket for it. And a plaster jacket is just almost like a protective shell that we put around the bone mm -hmm. and that makes it easier to transport it back to the museum in one piece. Mm. When we bring it back to the museum we'll open up that jacket and we'll clean it off and get it ready for research and, and display. Just hold it in place like that, we'll fold and it up and then if you just take way, that and just yeah. dip it in and just sort of poke it down, yeah. You don't have to be too careful with this one, it's fairly, fairly robust. It's just to keep it in place. Yeah. Yeah, and just sort of like poke it with the tip of the brush is the easiest way to do it and sort of pushes it in into okay, the back yeah, cool. the of the Can I flip this yet? Um, yeah. Yeah? So it's already kind of flipped, but you want to maybe just like stick that under there. Yeah. And just sort of slide it in that other hand. And that should be fine. Like this. And just as fast as you can. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh no. That's oh right. no. Sorry. Stick that oh. in. It's able to be rescued, it's okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Take two. Right. All right. Pressure where? So just Underneath your, with yeah, the knife. Yeah, just pressing up. And once you start going, you have to keep just, going. Yeah, keep going. There you go. Sweet. So Yay. there's a, this, this is bone fragments, yeah, right? there's a bone underneath it. <laughs> I've made a successful bone extraction. Um, sound like a doctor, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> we are done for the afternoon. We're gonna start trekking back now. That was incredibly informative. Like I just learned so much. Like I, 
I had no idea that you could like wrap the bones in toilet paper and extract them like that. Um, and second go, I got it, all right. I hope we didn't mess up too much whilst uh, digging. I don't think I damaged any bones, but yeah, that was, that was pretty amazing. it back. That was uh, much harder on the way back. It's got very warm. Not as warm as Egypt, but it's still it's hot. Run out of water. Need to get some water. So we've arrived back at the visitor center at Dinosaur Provincial Park. We're gonna go inside and check out some of the dinosaur skeletons. This isn't the main museum. I think that's about two hours away from here but um, they've got some stuff inside we're gonna go and check out now. Is this a, like a, a resin replica? Uh, this would be a, a, a cast yeah. um, of a, I think it's, I think it's a Gorgosaurus, I'm not yeah. sure. Which would we want to? Yeah. Similar to a Tyrannosaurus, is it? Yeah, it's a Tyrannosaur, it's a, a cousin of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, these are, if you guys have watched Jurassic Park, these are similar to the Velociraptors. This is a Chasmosaurus and it's very similar to the Centrosaurus that we were digging up today and the bone that I dug out would have been one of these bones on the feet which is pretty, pretty awesome. Right, we're heading into the lab. This isn't part of the normal tour, I don't think. Ooh. So, pick up this one. Pick up this one? Yes, please. Wait, is this a joint or not? Whoa. So that's a cast. Okay. okay. But a well-made cast, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really good. So pick up this one. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Come on. That's why we can't mount the original skeletons, or it's very good, because they weigh 50 times more. So this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex, or one uh, of the back teeth? It's a, it's a Tyrannosaur, so it's, oh, okay. it's probably a Tyrann it's part of the, or a part of the same family yeah. as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. But yeah, I can feel that serrated edge. I want to look at the serrated edge under the microscope. We're doing a driving tour of the Badlands. And this is something people can just do, right, if they come here? On tour, with a tour guide. If you come with a tour guide, you can book a tour and do this. This is like, look at this, this is incredible. Look at that landscape. Wow. So this was literally just outside. This is where this is where it was found. What would cause the the skin to fossilize? Uh, the skin fossilizes when uh, the animal gets buried very quickly. Here's an actual sample of a fossil habitat for skin. I always assumed that it was just an assumption that dinosaurs had scales. Uh, that was an assumption, but we've been finding more and more. Um, we have some historically known specimens that yeah. have scales. Uh, but we're finding more and more as we find. And then some dinosaurs would have had scales, but also feathers. Is that what we were saying earlier? Yes. I don't know if any of you guys are like as excited about all this as I am, but honestly, like dinosaurs are awesome. It just blows my mind. I just wish they were alive now. We have hopped out the car. We're just taking a little stroll through the Valley of the Castles and these rock formations are just mind-blowing. Look at them. It feels like, I don't, think I've, I don't think I've been anywhere like this, quite like this. Apparently we're allowed to climb on these. Thank you so much. Thank you. Was that, was, that was really yeah. cool. Yeah, thank you so much. It was like fascinating learning all about what you do. Nice to meet you. Thank you for everything, well. yes. Yeah. We've arrived at the place we're staying tonight. This place is Azure Ridge. It's kind of near Calgary. Um, it is stunning. As we drove in, it was just like, I can't believe this is the same country that we were in this morning. We've arrived for dinner. We're sitting out on the deck here. This is a beautiful sunset. I 
am wearing these amazing slippers that Raya found in our room. They're so comfy. And this place is just insane. This is like the perfect end to like a mind blowing day, like bucket list, dream day. Any of you that have any interest in dinosaurs, oh my gosh, get yourself here. Uh, although the, the tour that we did was like a custom private thing, they do do similar tours. I think you can do like one, two or three day um, tours where you can go and actually take part in excavating bones in the Dinosaur Provincial Park. But I'll link all that below. Um, it's gonna be an amazing week, guys. I haven't even told you yet, but the main reason we're in Alberta, this is like a tag on kind of, kind of experience we did, but was uh, the main reason we're here is because GoPro are holding their first ever creator summit and uh, we've been invited so that's starting tomorrow night and um, we're going to be traveling there via doing like a scenic helicopter tour tomorrow so make sure you tune in for tomorrow's vlog and we're going to be meeting a load of other creators from around the world that we some of which we haven't most of which we haven't met yet um, so yeah it's going to be a really fun week of amazing activities in this beautiful part of Canada and uh, yeah I'll catch you in the morning peace out enjoy life live the adventure Boom.